Alright, so welcome back to Fire Emblem 6, The Binding Blade, everybody! Last time, we cleared chapters 6 and 7. Chapter 6 was a nightmare. It was basically a giant palace that had a bunch of locked rooms with enemies inside and tons of ambush spawns. But chapter 7 was really good. We got a, several new units. And we have, like, four cavaliers and two paladins now, which is ridiculous. Like, half of our units now are just horse units. Which, I mean, hey, they're good, but... I want a little more diversity. Anyhow, we're on Chapter 8 now, Reunion. We gotta storm Castle Ostia and save Lady Lelina. And we, we definitely need to save Lelina because I want to use her. She's Hector's daughter. She's gonna be great. I'm sure. Ostia's military primarily consists of the soldiers and heavy defense gear. I remember that. A lot of green unit uh, armor knights. They'll, they'll, hopefully they still suck in this game. Such as armor knights and generals. With them, Castle Ostia's defenses have always been incredibly strong. For a long time now, the castle has been rumored to be unconquerable. However, that rumor was about to be proven wrong. By Roy, who ironically wished to protect the castle. That is a lot of soldiers and armor knights, indeed. And a couple mages. Interesting, I didn't think Ostia employed mages, really. Alright, well, let's take a look. We're getting a lot of good weapons, like steel weapons that we're going up against, and a lot of enemies have javelins. Okay. Um, this is a very, very long hallway. Wow. That is an incredibly long hallway that leads to the throne. Okay, this hole is going to take a while. Hellfire already? Fire. Lance. Yep. Wow. Like... They couldn't put a door or a crack in the wall somewhere along the way? It, it has to be just an incredibly long path. Alright, well, I'm definitely not taking boars. <laughs> boars is gonna be so bad on this chapter. He'll be left behind immediately. A lot of treasure chests, though, so that's good. Alright, so who do we take? I think these are all good choices. Ooh, Zealot could be a good choice. See... Okay, I want to compare it. So, Marcus, 9, 14, 11, 10. Eh, uh, actually, Marcus is closer to Zealot than I thought. Well, Zealot is a lot tankier, which is good. I actually feel like Zealot could be a decent pre-promote, but I don't know if I want to use him. Noah, I'm not using, because, I mean, his stats are just inferior to, uh, I almost said Kent and Zane, to Alan and Lance. As for Trek... He's a lower level, and he is fairly tanky, but I'm still going to stick with Alan and Lance, because I've already built up supports for them. So, I think that this is actually a pretty good, uh, pretty good s the set. I'm giving Thaney two more chances to level speed, and if she, or st strength, I mean, not speed. I'm going to give her two more level ups. If she does not level strength, then I'm benching her, because she, she need, if, if she reaches level eight with four strength, Terrible. I can't use that. Alright. Should Clarine... I'm gonna give Ellen the Physics Staff. Cause she... Wait, can Ellen use the Physics Staff? She cannot. Ellen is C in staves. Okay, well, she's closer to using the Physics Staff than Clarine is, so she still gets it. Alright, who needs another men's staff? Um... Here, Clarine. You can have the men's staff. Alright. Um, I bought a lot of stuff last chapter. Yes, I'm gonna give Deke this steel sword because he has the con to wield it. Lance, you need an, uh, an a sword at this point. Ward, you're going to need. Did I not buy any iron axes? I thought I bought at least one. Oh, that's kind of bad if we didn't. Oh, wait, no, Noah just has them all. Okay, good. Noah, give one of those to Lot. Give the other one to Ward. I'm gonna just say, Noah, you can... Well, if I need his equipment later, I'll get it later. I might use them in future chapters, I don't know. You never know. Boars, give Sue that longbow. In the meantime, Boars, I'm... 
I'm really not going to use him. We can get rid of his stuff. Marcus, I'm not going to use you anymore. If I need a paladin, I'll take Zealot. Lou will keep around with his fire. You never know when you might need an offensive magic user, but this is the chapter I believe we get Lilina, and she's another uh, magic user from what I understand. Okay. Uh, Rutger. Take a second killing edge. Ooh, and I'll also give you the hero's crest. He, er, well, let's see. Rutger is only level 8. Oh, no, he's level 9. Early promoting Rutger could be good as well, because from what I've heard, um, in Fire Emblem 6, Swordmasters are stupidly overpowered, because, like, as soon as you promote somebody to a Swordmaster, they get a permanent 30% critical hit bonus, which is just nuts. I think it's only 10% in Fire Emblem 7. So, yeah, that'll be that'll be interesting. Okay, Thaney. Give yourself an Iron Lance so you can actually dish out a little damage. Uh, who has the highest... Okay. Lot, Tick, and Elixir. Alright. Anybody... Any other trades that need to happen? No, I think we're good. That looks pretty solid. We'll save so we don't have to do battle preps again in case we have to reset. And now we play! <laughs> play? Chapter 8. Reunion. Oh, it's this guy. What? The enemy has broken into the castle? What the <laughs> was Devious doing out there? Were those knights from Ilya so strong? Or was the Lycia army larger than I expected? In any case, they have gotten into the unconquerable Castle Ostia. We must drive them out or Burn will look down upon us. You over there! Yes, sir! Set up the troops all over the castle, especially around the front room. Prepare your defenses. We must not let the Lycia army get any further into the castle. Understood, sir. One more thing. I want you to discreetly kill Lelina during the battle. What? Sir, weren't we supposed to keep her alive? I was planning on using her as a hostage, but there are still many rebels that put faith in her. If we openly use her as a hostage, those soldiers might turn against us. But in that case, sir, they would surely turn on us if we kill her! So I said to do it discreetly, didn't I? Kill her quietly and pretend that she was hit by a stray arrow. Then we can make the enemy responsible for it. Now go! Yes, sir. What a butt. Oh, Lelina's in jail. She was not there earlier. Oh, who's this guy? Um, he, <laughs> he doesn't look very trustworthy right now. General Roy of the Lycia Alliance Army, I presume. Who are you? An enemy? No, I'm on your side. Greetings, my name is Astor. I used to work here in the service of Lord Hector. Excuse me, but what kind of work were you doing? You certainly don't look like one of Ostia's servants. My, my, aren't we a little rude, old man? See, I'm a spy. I go on secret missions to gather information, steal things, check on people, that kind of thing. Hmm, I see. If people could tell that I'm working for a noble just by looking at me, then I'm not much of a spy, am I? Anyway, for a month now, I've been running around Lycia to gather the latest news. When I heard about Lord Hector's death in Arafan, I returned here as quickly as I could. Then I see that those idiots, the Legions and Devious, have caused a rebellion. I didn't make it in time to save Lord Hector, but I don't want to be too late for Lady Lelina. Then you'll join us? Good, let's work together to rescue her. Do you know where Lelina is? Of course, investigating into matters like that is my job. Lady Lelina is locked in a small room in the center of the castle. And that dastard Legion is sitting on the throne like he owns the place. We have to hurry, then. We must defeat the rebels and rescue Lelina before Narshan arrives from Burn. Okay, new unit, then. Astol. He's a level 10 thief. Wow, he's a lot higher level than Chad. And he has a lot of higher HP. Oh, dang. Those are some pretty good stats. 7, 8, 15, 11. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, Astol is definitely, um, better than Chad is by kind of a lot. I mean, he also has six levels over Chad, but I like this. He has eight con. Chad has five. Okay. I think we're using Astol instead. A spy serving Ostia. I just hope he don't betray us. Okay, and we have Lelina! Aw, look at that smile, but she has no weapons. Obviously, because she's in prison. The Princess of Ostia. 5 magic, 5 skill, 4 speed, 4 luck, 2 defense, 7 res. That's... those aren't... and only 4 con. 
Those aren't great bases, but I, I'm I, I'm using her. I don't care. And okay, there's an archer right here who's going to start killing her. Wonderful. There's a crack in the wall too. I don't like that, but it has 100 HP. I guess if we move Lelina here, he can't reach us. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, so we're gonna have to play like Reen around the Rosie kind of. Oh, that's actually really creative. I like that. All right. Probably should have given a lot of hand axe, but oh well. I'll put Ward over here so that way he's in range of uh, the lot support. Better make sure that Astol has combat animations on. Iron Lance for Lance and Iron Lance for Alan. Cool. Well, I probably didn't need to bring Chad if I am getting Astol. In hindsight, I probably should have brought a uh, Zealot or, like, Trek. Also, Thaney, I'm sure, has a support with Deke, so why is that not happening? Oh, shoot. Did I... Shoot. Should have given Rutger another Iron Sword. Well, I can give him... <laughs> I guess I can give him Chad's Iron Sword. Chad's not going to be doing much combat in this chapter. What's all this noise? Is there a battle going on? I wonder what's happening outside. Oof, that's a lot of attack power. On Alan! These stupid soldiers. Don't they know they're the, they're, they're the worst class in the game? Well, one of them, at least. Oh no, my Rutger! Ouch! Don't do that to Alan! He's a good boy. Alright, so now we just dart back here. Haha. <laughs> yeah, we're literally playing Reen Around the Rosie with the archer, that's great. Alright. Ward, let's see you get this kill. Or at the very least, get a level up from attacking this guy. All right, Ward, let's see how you level. That's not a good level. All right, Thaney, we're going to give you a level up. All right, Thaney. This is one of your last two chances to prove to me that you're worth using. That's not strength, Fainy. You only get one more chance. Uh, I think Sue needs the EXP a little bit more. Ouch. I don't like that Sue's taking that much damage already. She's leveling up fast, though. Granted, she is only a level 5, and we're going up against level 11 and 12 enemies. Wow. These enemies are all pretty high level now. Let's heal up Ward. No problem. Alright, Clarine, at least you got magic, I guess. I wonder if the two thieves can support together. That would be interesting. I don't want to give my calves all the EXP, but they're just so much faster than everybody else, as far as movement is concerned. 
so I have a feeling they're going to be getting a lot of EXP. But that's okay. I like both of the Cavaliers. I probably should not be using both of them, though. You fool, you can't hit Lance! Well, actually, you could hit Lance, but you're not going to. <laughs> that archer's just like, I already know where this is going, I give up. She's, she's, I'm not going to be able to hit her. That's really cool how they did that, though. Alright. Sue needs a heal. How do you fare against the... Ooh, not quite a kill. That's a shame. Here, Thaney. You can weaken it. <laughs> I've also decided, I think... I think I'm gonna give the Angelic Rope to Lelina. I feel like that would be a good choice, because she only has 2 defense and 16 HP, she's going to get slaughtered pretty easily, so I think she needs that extra HP. That's... that's what I think. Alright, you know, Roy is actually not bad. People talk about how Roy is one of the worst lords out there, but he's actually pretty decent. Maybe I've gotten level, uh, very lucky with his level ups, but 12 speed on a level 7 unit is good. An 8 strength, it's not, like, above average. It's not, like, exceptional, but it's pretty decent. Especially when compared to, um, some other characters who will remain nameless. <laughs> Alright. Do-do-do-do. Is there a way to just deal a little damage? I don't want a lot of damage. I just want a little. Lance will probably kill. Yeah, Lance is gonna kill. Alan will probably kill. Oh no, he won't! Just making sure, this guy won't kill Alan. He has 18 attack and Alan has... So unless he takes 16 damage... Pfft, no. Alan's gonna be fine. And now Sue can get the uh, the KO. I kind of I want to use Sue. I like the Nomad class. They just tend to be kind of lackluster. Or well, the Nomad class doesn't exist in Sacred Stones. And in Fire Emblem Seven, you only get one Raph, and he's really difficult to use. Ooh, Gantz Lance. Yeah, this is a job for Gantz Lance. Oh, yeah. Then I guess Alina, she can just hang out there. Can Chlorine reach anybody? Oh, yes, she can. Here you go, Thaney. Oh, you fool. I have Gant Lance. Alright, take that, Mr. Rebel. I can already see Ellen's going to be left behind, along with many units. Alright, well, let's touch up Alan. Honestly, though, I don't mind having a lower turn count, or a higher turn count, sorry. <laughs> you... Okay, cool. Neither of them have javelins. Nice. For me. I need bodyguards on Chlorine. I don't want anybody to attack her. There we 
go. All right. Ah! First off, that is a very strong swear word to use in an E-rated game. I think this is E-rated. Oh no! Alan's dead! Well, that's not good. <laughs> I was kind of trying to use Alan, but alright! I'm not resetting for that, actually. I'm so sorry, Alan! No! Oh my gosh, that was the one guy I didn't check his equipment. Ugh. That was literally the worst possible weapon he could have had. Oh no! That's that's a pretty big loss. Alan was one of my best units. Well, I have two other Cavaliers I can use, so... And also, this means Lance needs to support somebody else. Oh, jeez. Not good. Well... Alright. Let's see what Lot can do. Oh wait, Lot has a hammer. I'm gonna make you pay for what you did. Probably shouldn't be using Lot this much, just because he's such a high level, but I don't care. I needed revenge against that guy for killing Alan. Thaney, really? Guess we need to use Lance. If you want to miss here, that's also cool. Nope, alright. No no EXP for Sue. But Lance gets a level up and it helps to avenge his brother in arms' death. Ah, speed and luck. And HP. Lance is a highly competent unit, which is good. Here you go. There you go, Sue. There's your level up. I would like you to get strength a little bit more, but speed is also good. Maybe you can start doubling with the steel bow. Heal a lot. Okay, Thaney actually can double with an Iron Lance, which is nice, but... Mm, even so, Iron Lance, 9 damage, and that that's against a soldier, who is a very, very bad class. Oh, new characters! Sir Barf, this is a dead end! His name is Barf. <laughs> his, na his name is literally Barf. Okay, great. Don't worry, this wall has cracks in it. We can break through it if we hit it a little with our weapons. I wonder where Lady Lelina is. I have a pretty good idea where she is. We've known this castle for a long time. Hmm, I do wonder what's causing all this noise, though. The Alliance Army? Then my brother must be with them. We don't know if he's still alive. You shouldn't have such high expectations. Oh, yes. Oh, that must be Bors. Sir Barf, you don't have to be so cold. He's Wendy's only brother, right? You must never look away from reality. But... It's alright, OJ. OJ? Is that his name? Sir Barf is right. As an armor knight of Ostia, you must never panic. No matter what the situation. Understood, Wendy? Yes. Oh, this is the infamous Wendy. Okay, so first off, we got OJ. Oh, hey, he comes with his own Armor Slayer. Oh, that's great. Level 3 Mercenary with 24 HP. That's pretty good. Honestly, those starting stats are not too bad. I mean, Deke it seems to be like he's just better. Why couldn't we have gotten OJ first and then Deke? That would have made a little bit more sense. Mercenary hired into Ostia's service. That's a shame, you know? If I wasn't using Deke, I would probably use OJ. All right, now we have Barf. His name is literally Barf. Knight serving Ostia. He has a weird face. Aha! Uh -huh. 
Well, you know what? I like seeing that amount of strength, defense, and con on an armor knight. He actually could be a fairly solid knight. Actually, wait. Um, Boris has almost that much defense, and he's a way lower level, so... Um... Yeah, no offense, Barf, but you're probably not going to be very viable. Especially with that low... Well, I mean, low res is to be expected, but still. I don't know. Okay. And now, Wendy. Knight serving Ostia, Borza's younger sister. Alright, and... Oh, lord. Those are the worst stats I've ever seen on an armor knight. Oh, yes. So, uh, Wendy is... <laughs> infamous in the fandom for being one of the absolute worst units of all time. So, yeah, I don't think I'll be using her. And they're all trapped in here, alright? Uh, Barf, you have a steel lance. Okay. Barf, how can you hit... Oh! Move aside, broken wall. Barf the Barfy is uh, coming this way. We'll turn on all their combat animations, though, for sure. Turn them on for Lelina as well. Will this guy kill Wendy? No, he has four speed. She only has free speed, though. All right, Wendy, you'll be attacked by one soldier. Let's see how you fare. <laughs> wow, she seems like she's gonna be really bad. <laughs> hey, Mo. Hey, Mobius. Welcome. No, no. This guy's name is literally Barf. <laughs> it, it's not spelled the same, but I mean, like, come on. That had to have been intentional. His face looks like Barf. Anyhow, I, I shouldn't be so mean, but I mean, like... You name your character Barf, what, what do you expect me to do? Oh wait, this is a perfect opportunity. Okay. You're on level 6. You're on level 7. Let's give it to Sue. Sue has a hard time with getting kills. Ugh! There we go. Alright, gotta keep Thaney away from that. <laughs> That thing. <laughs> Hi, my name is Lance. Actually, if I move there, he's gonna move on the pillar. Don't want that. Anybody need healing? Okay. Yes. There you go, Sue. You're 1 HP. <laughs> Your money, Sue. Oh, hey, staff level increased. That's cool. Poor Ellen is just lagging behind. Oh, I know what we can do. Rescue her. You'll go far. Alright, Wendy. Wow. Not very good. Ooh. Nice try, but you're gonna need to do better than that to get one over Roy. Oh no! More enemies. Barf, I need you to lend me a hand here. Barf. Really? <laughs> really, Barf? <laughs> Gosh! <laughs> Cassady, thank you so much for the raid! Welcome, everybody! We are on a very long, windy hallway of a chapter, and we just got a guy on our team named Barf. Like, his name is literally Barf, so, um, okay. <laughs> Welcome, though! Uh, where is Walt? Walt has been on the bench ever since I've been able to put him on the bench. <laughs> That's where he is. <laughs> Welcome, everybody! How are y'all doing tonight? <laughs> Oh, also, Alan died to a Horse Slayer, because I didn't realize the Armor Knight had a Horse Slayer, which is very sad. <laughs> Walt is good. You know, I kind of don't believe you, because he had the worst base stats I've ever seen, and the one level up I gave him, he only level HP. So, like, I don't think that you're being entirely honest with me. <laughs> Besides, Sue is where it's at. She has a horse. That instantly makes her better. <laughs> Wolt is far better in Project Ember. That I would believe. That probably wouldn't be difficult to do. <laughs> Best unit, son. 
you got you got a <laughs> you have interesting taste if you're calling Rebecca the best unit. I think Rebecca's not bad if you train her up, but uh, she's not great. Okay, uh, Wendy's gonna die if I keep her there. Um, OJ is also probably going to die there. Barf, if you die, that's fine. I don't care if Barf dies. I'm not using him. Oh wait, <laughs> who are you gonna call when nobody's around? You're gonna call Lance. <laughs> Kill Wendy for content. I'd rather kill the guy named Barf, but maybe that's just me. Lance to the rescue! <laughs> oh, Wolt died in your Iron Man? Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. It's always sad losing a unit, even when the unit is... Well, I, I guess I don't know what Project Ember Wolt is like, but... Uh, <laughs> Wolt in this game really seems bad. <laughs> Wait, no. Release, release Ellen onto the pillar. That's fine. And, ooh, let's pull the archer with Sue, if possible. They'll probably go for uh, Barf or Wendy, though. <laughs> stop the Walt slander! <laughs> alright, 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 I'll, I'll, I'll stop. I'm sure Walt is a very fine unit if you can train him up. And I'm sure his support conversations are just brimming with intense character development. All right. This is definitely this chapter is making me sweat a little bit, though. Also, I'm not sure if it's just because I'm playing on normal mode, but Roy doesn't seem that bad. <laughs> May well, okay. So if if you guys know Fire Emblem Six well, have I gotten incredibly stat blessed with my Roy, or is this is this kind of average for Roy? Because thus far he's doing pretty all right. Twelve speed. I'm impressed on a level seven unit. <laughs> I feel like that's pretty good. Alright, here you go, Sue. You're actively using supports of the GBA games? Oh, yep. Supports are not, like, supports are super annoying if you're trying to go for a low turn count, but I do not care about that at all, so... <laughs> Nothing doing. Alright, cool. Wendy and Barf survived. The world is saved. Ellen, you can heal up and Lance. Alright, Ellen, are you just gonna level magic again? Okay, that's actually a decent level up. You didn't get magic, but that's fine. You're, you don't have to get it every time. Oh, I can't quite reach Barf. I don't know much about Barf. I, I have heard of Barf, and I do know he has a 2% res growth, which is hilarious. Or it's 2% or 5%, I can't quite remember. I think it's 2%. I have a speed blessed Roy. I thought, I thought so. He's leveled speed pretty consistently. Also, I really hope that I can get a Fire Tome for Lilina, because I did not bring Marlenis, and none of my characters have any Animatomes on them. So, yeah. That's where we are. <laughs> Here you go, Wendy. Yeah, 2% res. <laughs> I like it when you get units like that, where it's just like they have a meme. There's something meme -y about them. Alright, Lombo time. <laughs> just stand there and let Seuss sharpshoot you. That's all you need to do. Alright, that's a lot of scary units down there. And why are my, why are my Hammer Brothers so far away? Here a lot. Let's let's get you closer to the action. There we go. Oh, this looks so much nicer. Oh hey! Mercenary meets mercenary. I also love how Roy's just like, oh yeah, Barf's here. I don't care, I'm not talking to him. <laughs> here, let's heal up Ellen. You stopped because you were on chapter seven. Oh, that's the one I beat last stream. That's that was a that was a fun one, a tough one, but that was a fun one. Oh, Wendy can't even talk to Roy. Wow. All right. Where's Alan? Alan died earlier this chapter. 
because I didn't realize a knight that was within his range had a horse slayer, and he got, he got one killed in one hit. It was very sad, but I'm trying not to reset unless it's an ap absolute catastrophe. I'm sure you can make the argument that hit, uh, Alan Dying is an absolute catastrophe, but I said no. All right, Lot, don't die on me. Lot, don't uh, come on. Oh, that's a Thunder Mage. Cool. Um, awesome. Hate that, actually. We gotta, we gotta bust out the Gantz Lance, I do declare. I might be charging right into death, actually. I probably should not... Ugh. I wish Ellen could use that Physics Staff about now. <laughs> I should not have done that. Oh, don't worry, guys. Barf to the rescue. Wow, Barf. Hmm, that's probably not good. Should have held off a little bit. Um, I'm a little bit worried for Lance right now. I am a little bit worried about Lance. Uh, uh, da, 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 da. I could rescue him, but then he, that's just putting him in even, even more danger. All right. That was actually colossally stupid of me. I do not know why I did that. You killed Walt, Deke, and Shanna because you made dumb moves. Forgot to heal Walt. Oof. Yeah, if I, I actually think I might be losing Lance, which is sad because Lance is, like, my best unit. Oh, my goodness. Uh, this... Okay. This is Thaney. With an Iron Lance. She can't one round a freaking mage. Are you are you serious? Alright, Barf. Here's what we're gonna do. Please hit this. Thank you, Barf. Thank you, Barf. I appreciate it. Get his red gem before he dies. She's not supposed to be She's in an army! What do you mean she's not supposed to be a combat unit? She's literally enlisted in the army. All right, what can I do with the Mombo? Oh, Sue. Sue, please hit this, please. No, oh, Sue! <laughs> yeah, she has Flyer Utility, but why would I waste a combat slot for Flyer Utility? Also, I'm like, yeah, that'll be useful until I get another Pegasus Knight, then she absolutely sucks. Okay, well, somebody's dying this turn, guys. If I do this thing... <laughs> Should I just sacrifice Thaney? <laughs> Chad's in an army. Yes, but Chad has a special utility that a lot of other characters don't have. And also, I'm ditching Chad in favor of Astol, because Astol's just better. So, like, if I get another Pegasus Knight that is better than Thaney, you better believe I'm ditching her on the bench. All right, um, hmm. maybe if I can make them go for my main lord, they'll do that instead of going for Lance. Are you sure she can't use- darn it, no. Why is the physics staff so advanced? I don't like it. Well, someone's dying, probably Lance. Maybe Barf as well? I could use several flyers, but why would I? Mm. Actually, wait. No. If I do this, she should survive. Well... I guess it depends on the enemy move order, but... I'm actually going to do this. Because only one enemy can attack her. And I think the archer moves first. And if the archer moves first, then he can't attack her. If the archer moves first, he can't attack her. And if the archer moves last, he also won't be able to attack her, because they're all going to gather around her. So I don't think he'll be able to do that. And you know what? If I lose Thaney, then I lose Thaney. I'm not, I have not been very impressed with her thus far. Oh, hey, oh yeah, that's right. 
And then there's also... All right. It's about to get interesting. Oh, you again. Yes! Just as I thought! They're at each other again! I mean, how stupid can these nobles get? I can never understand what the fun is in fighting all the time. Oh, well, guess I'll swipe when I can. You again. All right, let's see what happens. Okay, well, if the archer moves second, we might be in doo-doo. Free lockpick just arrived. True, I can steal from her. All right, let, if the archer moves second, we're screwed. Or if that happens, I guess. Maybe she'll dodge the archer. Um, Lance, what are you doing? Or actually, Lance is kicking butt. That's what he's doing. Okay, well, Thaney might die, but I don't... I think Lance is safe now. If I sacrifice... Oh my gosh, Lance, that's such a good level up. Yeah, Lance is safe. Unless that archer deals 10 damage, which he shouldn't. <laughs> yeah, Lance, Lance is the best. That's why I really wanted to save him. <laughs> Alright, we'll see if Shanna... Alright, Shanna, you can dodge it. I've seen you do it before. Oh, yeah! Mm -hmm. Now, she might die to the other Thunder Mage that's back there. Oh, no, no, no! No, please don't! Not my Lance! Oh! oh, Lance, the pants is the best. <laughs> All right, are you gonna die to this? No, you're not. Even if he, you get doubled, never punished. What on earth? I should not be alive. Someone should have died there. <laughs> All right, <laughs> I forgot about Elfire Mage over there. All right, let's uh, let's just uh, make a strategic retreat. <laughs> uh, my gosh, Ward, how are you this far behind? This is ridiculous. I also didn't give Lot a hand axe, which I don't know why I did that. Also, nobody even- they're like, barf? Who's that? I've never heard of that unit before. Alright, well, Lot, you know, I just want to point out, Lot, this would not have happened if you had done your job properly and smashed his head open. <laughs> oh, yes. Alright, see ya, Poss. Thanks for joining in. Have a great night. Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> Barf is just going to move out of danger. Ellen is basically invincible to magic, so I'm okay doing this. Oh, yeah. fighter. Bro My fighter bros are doing pretty well. I mean, Lot's gotten a couple disappointing level ups, but he's still kicking butt. And Ward has gotten several kick butt level ups as well, and he's a lower level. I'm still using them both, but I'm basically trying to figure out, like, which one of them, if either, should I use long term? Just checking. Okay, no. There's no other enemies coming. Cool. Yoink! Hammer has 45 hit. <laughs> this is normal mode. I'm sure on hard mode they're a lot worse, but... I'm, I'm using the units who seem interesting and good to me. And right now, the Fighter Bros are my best guys for taking out the copious amounts of Lance users. That That is my rationale. All right. Uh, Thaney, you can take on this Elfire Mage. Yeah. At least Thaney is good at taking on magic users. To an extent. <laughs> she's still weak as, uh... She's still weak as a sheep, but, like, eh. Whatever. She is my only Pegasus Knight, so... Oh, no, is my internet dying again? I've already had my stream cut out. Nice job, Sue. Sue, so, look, not that speed is not a good stat, but you need more than just speed, all right? Oh, hey, free kill for Rutger. <laughs> Godman01, thank you so much for the follow. Rutger, I do not like how many... <laughs> I don't like how many one-stat level-ups I'm getting in this game. This is not fun. <laughs> All right, uh... Yeah, I want to break into that treasure room. All right, and then, yes, Lance... Lance needs a heal. <laughs> or five. <laughs> there we go. OJ, you can just hang out there, and then Wendy can plot along just fine. Oh, is Calf going to let uh, Lelina out of her prison, I wonder? 
All right, that's fine, Thaney. All right, all right. This right here is going to be the moment of truth, ladies and gentlemen. Because this, big brain time. <laughs> this is going to be the moment of truth, because at the start of the chapter, I said that if Thaney didn't get strength even once in her next two level ups, I was going to bench her. This is her last chance for a level up. If she gets strength here, I will use her. If she does not get strength for this level up, she's going on the bench. Alright, Thaney, what you gonna do? Okay, Thaney, you've saved yourself from the bench. I will continue to use you. Alright, let's start opening up these chests. Knight's Crest! Oh, guess, guess who's getting that? I'll give you a hint, it's not Barf. Light brand? You know what's the most exciting thing about winning? It's when you win. I love that feeling. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Also, I've never taken a look at Legions. An Ostian Knight leading the Rebellion. Steel Lance and a Javelin. Ah, uh, those are some scary stats on him, actually. That's a lot of defense, especially when combined with the Throne bonus. We're gonna... I think we're gonna need to bust out that Armor Slayer. Or one of the two Armor Slayers, because there's more than one. Oh yeah, Barf needs a heal. Oh, hey, mages! Here, uh... Here you go. Take the hand axe. There you go. Wow, yeah, like... Lot's pretty tanky. 7 defense with, like, almost 40 HP. He, he can take a beating. I like that. Unlike some fighters in the series... <laughs> Dork ass. <laughs> I love how I'm just like, no, Barf is not talking to Roy. It's not happening. Alright, there you go, Barf. I do care about you, buddy, but... You were not in my top priority for <laughs> healing. Okay, Calf, you have a lockpick. Okay, he has a lockpick as well. Is one of them going to open up the cell that Lelina's in? Oh, hey, that's Elfire. Oh, hey, that's a 55% hit rate. And Lot still hits it. Twice. He dodges a 56 and hits two 55s. This is why I use Lot. Oh, hey! Well, thanks for letting Lelina out of prison. I hope that's actually a good thing that you let Lelina out of prison. You know, let's... Calf, you're not using that lockpick right there, are you? I didn't think so. See ya. I hope she doesn't start attacking me now. That would actually kind of suck. Oh, um... I didn't realize you were in need of healing, Sue. Here you go. Nobody here needs healing, right? Oh, well, Ricker's missing one, but that's fine. I'll have you go the upper way. Can Barf talk with Roy? No, oh, he can't talk with Roy. I thought they had a special talk conversation, but... Apparently not. There you go. Heal up Thaney. Then OJ. There you go. I got nothing to steal, so thief shouldn't attack. Oh hey, Air Caliber. That's like Excalibur, but thankfully not as powerful. Uh oh. That guy's gonna try to get all the treasure for himself. Aw, no. -uh. Uh, oh no, that that knight can't hurt me. Got to weaken him a bit. Uh, <laughs> I I shouldn't kill calf. That's a, that's a bad idea. That's a very bad idea, actually. Alright, Lelina is going to be reunited with Roy pretty soon, which is going to be a very, very touching. 
Ellen, you can keep on healing Deke. Chad, you can keep opening these chests. Elfire! Oh, yes! A weapon for Valina. Yeah, we're keeping that. Calf, just don't go stealing my stuff, alright? Calf actually might steal my red gem, which would kind of suck. Ah! Okay! Do not fight Air Caliber with a Pegasus Knight. That's apparently a bad idea. Deals effective damage. Did Excalibur deal effective damage in Fire Emblem 7? I don't remember. Because you only get it for, like, half a chapter. <laughs> and when you get it, there are no flying enemies, so... I could early promote Ruker. I might eventually early promote Ruker, but I'm not doing it right now. Alright, heal up lot. Level up! Alright, I... Now here's the problem. I want to stop that thief, but that... Oh, the Armor Knight's not getting in the way. Okay. Armor Knight at seven... Okay, Sue's gonna be fine. Unless there are re uh, ambush spawns. Let's go short bow. Ha ha! I am really enjoying Sue right now. I love her movement, and she's actually quite skilled with a bow. I like that. Alright, we're playing the victory music, but I know better. <laughs> I know that there's something going on. Alright. We're gonna do a massive trade sequence. Here, I trust Wendy with the red gem. Definitely. There we go. Really, no talk but conversation between Roy and Lelina. That really surprises me. Here you go, Lelina. Elfire, that is, uh... Oh, Elfire only has a weight of one? Oh my gosh, so she can actually wield it properly. Who'd have thunk it? How absolutely novel. Here, take take the armor slayer, Rutger. You've earned it. Oh hey, we can steal our vulneraries. <laughs> Sorry, calf, but them's the breaks. All right, Chad. Hey, he got strength. Good for him. I think it's very wasted that there's not a conversation between Lelina and Roy. Just, just saying. You can move right, but down there. I am a little bit worried about those two staircases, and if, like, five enemies pop out and immediately all move, then Sue is dead. Which would suck. But that's the kind of game Fire Emblem 6 seems to be. Oh, ah, no! Um... Well, that's bad. <sighs> These stupid knights, they're like, Oh, did you not check my equipment? I have the best equipment in the game. I kill you in one hit. <sighs> well... That kind of sucks that I gave her so much EXP. I also don't trust that. Alright. We're gonna need to get Lelina close. So she can attack at a distance, and we can finish him off with Ruker. One, two, three, four, five... Hate that. I hate that. That's the second time an Armor Knight on this level has had a stupidly good piece of equipment and has killed one of my units that I really wanted to keep alive in one hit. Twice. In the same level. 
curse you! Uh, Sue also had, like, every single bow that I owned. So... Yeah. Alright then. Oh look! Ambush spawns! Oh look! One of them can attack... Oh, Chlorine. Okay, I thought they were going to attack Lolina. Okay. So just as a question, how does Lolina fare against Mr. Armor Knight? <laughs> Chlorine. Okay, well I gotta stay out of the range of Mr. Killer Lance. That's definitely a gotta do. Oh, she's got a cute palette. I like that. Alright, we definitely gotta start using Lelina, because she is level 1 and she needs some levels. Very redundant, I know, but that's how it, that's how it be. Okay, you have an iron sword. I am super paranoid now about what people do or do not have. Rutger, you're good enough for that. Uh, who needs healing? Anybody? Rutger does, but he's... There you go, Rooker. My last heal on the heal staff. I'm s I'm still. <laughs> I think I'm more upset about Sue dying than about Alan dying. Like Alan was definitely a better unit, but I put so much into Sue into this one chapter alone. It's very frustrating. All right, Calf's just leaving because I stole all her stuff. Makes perfect sense. Oh no! You fool, you dead. That's, yeah, that, see? Level 1 units, they get that much EXP, and I love it. She's level 9. You know, I actually am using both both healers. Ellen and uh, Clarine. I like that. Alright. Oh, hey! Let's see if Lelina can hit this. Nice job, Lelina! Ooh, very nice. Magic and res. You know, you got magic, so that's cool. Oh, but now she's in range of that guy. Here you go, Rutger. Alright, that's fine. We can take our time now. Just get through this slowly but surely. I am very terrified, though, of that stupid Killer Lance Knight. Watch the treasure on that side not even be that good. And, like, I sacrificed two for nothing. I'm kind of fully expecting that at this point. That's a lot of units coming this way. Alright, well, let's try this again. <laughs> again, if I can give kills to Lelina, I am. Nice one, Lelina! Dang, she's powerful, though. I know she has Elfire, but still. Okay, that's fantastic. We'll do this. Wendy, you can move over there. I want to... Oh, sh wow. Roy and Molina can already support. That's fantastic. 
Uh-oh. Rooker's on his last iron sword. Chad, where are you? You're giving Rooker your iron sword. Actually, for the time being, Astor... Or Astol... You can give it up. It's very convoluted, but there you go. Why are there so many reinforcement ambush spawns? I hate this. Reinforcements should not be able to move the same turn that they spawn in. Fire Emblem 101. Oh, I didn't even realize that bow guy can attack Lelina. Thank goodness she's at full HP. Oh, that's because the bow guy spawned in this turn. That's why. I am surprised the bow guy's going for Lelina, who can counter him, and not for Rutger, who cannot. But I guess they're like, oh my gosh, Lelina. She's powerful, we gotta kill her. Alright, let's start by giving the Roy Lelina support. Lelina, are you alright? Do you need anything? No, I don't need anything right now. Are you hurt? No, I'm fine. Oh, okay. Then, is there anything I could do for you? Roy, it's alright. What? Thanks for worrying about me, but I'll be fine. Well, in that case... But if there's anything you need, tell me. Okay. Okay. That's an extremely generic support. I was expecting something a little bit better, gotta be honest. Yes, come, make Lilina stronger! Alright, magic! She, she got magic again! It would be nice if she got speed. Just making sure nobody... Can, okay, cool. So that way if a bow person spawns there again, she'll still be fine. That's good. At this point, though, I think we want the Axe Bro. Well, what we really want, actually, is Lance. Lance! Lance, you've made it this far. You can't go dying on me now. I'm topping off his HP just because I'm a little worried. And then I can rescue Ellen out of there. Oh my gosh, that's a really good level up, Ellen. Alright, this is why we have Thaney. Lance lived. Yes, he did. Alright, uh, make sure... Yep, okay, stay out of range of that. Ward, you can go there a lot. You got that hand axe. Maybe you'll hit. <laughs> Nah, okay, even Lot can't hit a 37 on command, but that's okay. They are gonna keep building up those supports. Same with Barf and Wendy. Two units who I will not be using, I'm pretty sure. Well, you know, I won't say I'm, I won't use them, period. Because I guess I, there's a possibility I could, but I'm probably not going to use them. Oh no, Ward gets doubled, that's okay. Because he didn't finish him off, only no more enemies can reach him except for that one dinky little archer. Wow, Lance doesn't double that guy? That must be one fast mercenary. Because Lance has an incredible amount of speed. Oh no. That could have been trouble if he doubled Ward, actually. That stupid Killer Lance Armor Knight is just sitting there taunting me, and I don't like it. Doggone it, Faney! Lelina, please hit. Thank you! Wow, Lelina is just owning these scrubs. And I definitely will be giving her the, that Angelic Robe. Alright, Ward, we're gonna pull you back, and we're gonna put Lant, or Lot in the main fray. Lot's a bit of a tank. 
All right, let's get rid of this last stupid mercenary. That'll make things a lot easier. Okay, um... I do actually kind of want to rescue... Uh, I do kind of want to get Lance healed up, to be honest, so... Hmm... Who here can rest? I think only Thaney can really rescue Ward, so... We're gonna get Ward out of here. Oh, wait, hang on. How many... Okay, and we also need to get Lilina out. So they're gonna form, like, a brick wall. Ellen's gonna mend up Lance, because I really want to make sure Lance lives. Now we're gonna have Rutger rescue Ellen. Nobody will be able to move past these two. Barf might be able to take... Oh yeah, Barf can take... Ward. Alright, you're holding Lelina, and you're holding Ellen. Okay, I... As much as I'd like to have Lelina alive... Or, alive. As much as I'd like Lelina to be released, I do need my healers uh, released, so... Now we can mend up Ward. I probably should have tried to keep Ward within support range of Lot, but, you know, them's the breaks sometimes. Alright. I am not a huge fan of this chapter, I must be honest. It's just one giant long hallway from the start to the end. It's kind of like Whereabouts Unknown in Fire Emblem 7. But more disappointing, because, like, storming the castle, you'd think it'd be really epic, but it's it's not. It's just kind of a slog. And all of these reinforce... All of these ambush spawns are not helping matters. Oh, great. Those, those two guys have freaking javelins. Well, we're gonna have to take them out from a distance. Because if we get... If we get too close, that stupid killer lance guy might just murder us. Oh my gosh, Lance! Stop! You're too good! <laughs> I don't actually stop. Look at this! Oh my gosh. He's gonna be one epic paladin. I have to keep him alive at all costs. Alright. Lance is very good. Alright, come on, Lot. I need you to finish this. Lot, I need you to finish it. Come on. Alright, we're going to give Lance the javelin that Thaney currently has. Alright. That, oh, oh, come on! Well, we gotta get her... Well, actually. Let's just get rid of the archer. Problem solved. Thaney's not in danger anymore. Treat Lance like a lord and keep him out of danger. But Lance is one of my best units, so he's good at holding down this wall. Also, we'll put Ward a bit closer, so that way Lot's within support range of him. Because here's the thing. Normally, I just move forward... But this guy right here has a Killer Lance. So I'm trying to get to the point where I can damage him at a, from afar with Lelina and then finish him off. But there are all these guys just infinitely spawning. It's terrible. But we're making slow but steady progress. Because they're not spawning anymore. Well, that javelin's not going to last very long. I also need to find a new support partner for Lance. Because Lance had a B or an A support with Alan, but then that obviously disappeared. Do-do-do-do. 
All right. Let's pull Lance out of here. Let's put the Axe Bros in. Really, Ward? You've got to be kidding me. He missed... Freaking Fire Emblem 6. All right. That's... You know, that's okay. Because... Wow, Valina doubles these guys. That's nuts. You know what? Maybe that was a blessing in disguise. Ward set up that kill for Valina. Wow. She's leveling magic constantly. I love it. I wish she got speed, though. So you have a Steel Lance, but you have a Javelin. That has 6 power plus 9 strength. Okay, so Alina will survive. And there's only one person here who can reach her with the Javelin. Okay, good. Okay, we can act... Just... Just make it absolutely sure. Javelin, power 6. And he has a strength of 9. 6 plus 9 is 15. She has 16 HP and she has 2 defense regardless. Yeah, okay, she is fine. I'm just being super duper careful, because if I lose Lelina, that will be something I will reset for. <laughs> I gotta use Lelina. I got to. Mm. Also, we need to build that Deacon Rutger support. Anybody in need of healing? Besides Ellen. Yes, please. Attack Ward. <laughs> I would love to see him get more level ups. Okay, yep. I saw that coming. Yep, saw that coming as well. I love how Lelina doubles soldiers, but not armor knights. We're gonna heal Lelina just to make absolutely sure. If we miss, that she won't die. But she hits anyways because she's a boss. Alright, I am so freaking paranoid about this stupid rebel killer. Probably too paranoid, but you know what? <laughs> Not paranoid without reason. I know that kind of defies the entire definition of paranoia, but just work with me. Oh no, you're attacking Ward! Oh, Bye! Alright. Cool. Alright, never level up for Lelina. Is she gonna get magic again? She did! Wow! Okay. You know, she got magic four times in a row. I'll take it. She's so happy about it, too. Hey, Vince! Long time no see. Welcome! Don't mind us. We're just playing some Fire Emblem 6 here. We're, uh, we've had two people die. But it's okay. You know, this, this kind of thing happens. Alright, we are getting rid of Killer Lance, dude. This... We are, we are, we are getting rid of him. We will avenge Sue. Avenge Sue. Avenge Sue! <laughs> For Narnia! <sighs> Alright, who should we finish this guy off with? You know, Rooker and Deke both could use some level ups. So could Roy, though. Actually, yeah, Roy needs to level up. And he has a rapier or two. Ah! All right, level up for Roy. What do you got? Hey! Wow, nice level up. Thank you for leveling strength. Probably should have properly stocked my characters a little bit better before going in, but oh well. Oh yeah, if if your units die, they're gone for the entire playthrough. I, I like that, though. It adds that extra bit of, like, risk, as well as that bit extra bit of tension, and you really feel like, oh my gosh, if I, like, there are real consequences if I don't play well. 
It's great. All right. Now we're marching towards the throne room at long last. Oh, what's that? What's that? Oh, are you are you peeing your pants a little bit? Well, you should be because the Lysian army is about to murder you. Also, we need to get the thieves going towards the treasure room. Heal up Ellen. There we go. We have no heal staffs right now. Only mends. That's okay. We have two enemies left. There shouldn't be more reinforcements, I hope. We'll just teleport Chad up there. Lance has been the MVP of this round, like, by far. He's held- he's made it through multiple near-death situations, and he has held the line and not <laughs> budged. He, he is- he is truly the enviest of peas. Alright. Let's give Ward his hand backs- hand axe back. Really? She's... That surprises me. Um, with the Steel Lance, I'm pretty sure he'll kill her. Yeah, he'll just kill her with that. That's not good. Alright. Um, new plan. We're going to lure him over here with Ward with the Hand Axe. Simple. Oh, he's not even moving. That was his mistake. I don't know why I thought this guy had a killer lance. I was being so careful with him. I'm like, wait a second, he only has a steel lance. What am I even worried about? Alright. Fair, fair enough level up. Okay, uh, Lelina... Mm. Okay. Now I'm safe to do this because I have Lance as an emergency rescue in case she misses. Nice job, Lolina. You ain't gonna miss. You always get your man! Alright. Now, the boss has Steel Lance and a Javelin, and he won't move. I honestly feel like Rooker of the Armor Slayer might be our best bet. Or Deke with the Armor Slayer. Hey, here, Deke. Here's an Armor Slayer. Use it wisely. Yep, only the boss left, and we also have all four treasure chests. And I'm sure they'll have good things. Whee! Alright, well. First things first. Treasure! Elysian Whip! Hey, we can use that on Thaney. I mean, not yet, but eventually. Oof, wow. What if Roy is, like, right next to Lelina? Her hit rate's still Garbo. 
Lady Lelina? <laughs> you were supposed to be dead by now! Leechens, why? Times are changing, my lady. I'm just making sure I don't get left behind. I'm not like Lord Hector, who was too foolish to realize the change. Quiet! You will not insult my father any further! Ooh, you tell him, Lady Evelina. Uh-oh. He just stepped to the side. Hey, I'm glad that they have special ba boss dialogue for her, though. That, that actually makes me happy. There isn't enough of that in this game. All right, well, let's get her out of danger. How does Rutger fare with the Armor Slayer? Oh, pretty decently. How about the Killing Edge? Terribly. Well, once again, I believe the boss is up to, um, Rutger. <laughs> Let's get Deke over here as well, because Deke can potentially also help. I'm sure Fanny can deal damage. Not. Let's also get Lot over here with his hammer. I wonder if Bar for Wendy have special dialogue. <laughs> I'm sure- I think they'd get slaughtered by him if they try to attack, but... You vermin of the Alliance Army, come! I shall cut down all of you! You're not cutting down, Rutger. Alright, Lot, how do you fare with your hammer? That is a super low chance of hitting. I gotta try it, though. <laughs> 20% chance with weapon triangle advantage. My lord. This 45 hit... In an 8 hit rate of 45... Oh, that's... The stupid throne gives so much avoid. Alright, how does Deke fare with the Armor Slayer? Ooh, pretty well. Uh-oh. Uh oh. Ruger definitely seems to be the most competent one here. I'm gonna mend up Deke and then rescue away. Yeah. Throne gives 30% extra avoid. It's crazy. No okay, okay, Clarine. Now now you're getting the good level ups. Silver Axe. Very nice. Guiding Ring. There we go. I think Ellen is the only one who can use that right now. Don't worry, guys. Barf is coming. He'll save the day. <laughs> that boss music, though. It's awesome. Alright, who's he gonna attack? You're attacking Rootger? The guy who's dodging everything, and the only one who's actually gotten a hit on you? <laughs> oh, yeah. Silver axes... Well, silver weapons in general are very good. They're very powerful. Good lord. Armor knights are supposed to be slow and not very good at uh, dodging. Oh no, he actually hit Rutger. There we go, finally! <laughs> oh yeah, the killer weapons are great as well. Alright, Deke, nice job. Oh, <laughs> Deke, that's such a good level up, I love it. <laughs> Alright. Thaney is going to rescue Deke. Clarine is going to heal up Rutger.
Wendy is going to heal, uh, or is going to rescue Clarine. Barf is going to drop Clarine right there. Darn it, that's out of range of Ruker. Shoot. You're going to rescue Lolina. What if we actually use a regular... Okay, okay, that's some good hit, right? Okay, not using that. Yeah, let's try this. Ho oh, ho, nice one, Ward. Legions, I believe you're at your end right now. Alright, last chest. Secret book! Not not the best of the stat boosters, but also not the worst. Actually, it might be the worst of the stat boosters. Alright, who will he attack? Whoever he attacks will probably get the kill unless he attacks Ward. Nope, he's attacking Ruker. How much damage does Lelina do? Oh! If Lelina gets the kill, it'll be amazing. Oh. Yeah, they, they went overboard giving the bosses way too much avoid. Finally, die! Why? You are only to be trampled upon by Burn! How can you fight so hard? Nice job, Ruker. My man! Very solid level up. Alright. Before we end the chapter, I want to keep building those support points. Specifically between Rutger and um, his entourage. And you know what? Let's get some Lance supports with Roy. I want Roy to get the A support with Lolina, but Lance can at least get a B support with him. That's fine. And I guess the thieves can stand next to each other as well. Oh yeah, we should also go for the Thaney Deke support as well. Alright, now we just wait a whole bunch of turns, build up those support points. And then that should be chapter done. Wow, that took a really long time. That was an hour and a half on one chapter. And this, this isn't even like an endgame chapter, this is a regular old chapter. Alright, we'll conquer the throne, that's fine. We finally recaptured the castle, Alina. Thank you, Roy. I'm glad that my father didn't have to go through the trouble. Roy, is my father still in Arathan? I heard it was a tough battle there, but it, does it look like it's going to take much longer? Lelina, haven't you heard anything? What? Lord Hector has passed away. What? I'm sorry. When we arrived at Castle Arafen, it was already under Burn's control. It's not your fault. Don't apologize. Lord Hector was already severely wounded when we arrived. Granted, we deliberately waited and farted around for like 10 turns healing everybody up to max before doing that while he was dying in the basement. So that probably didn't help. But we won't tell Alina that. If only we'd gotten there faster. Maybe I could have helped him. Wow, you're really rubbing salt in the wound there, Roy. If only the tactician wasn't an absolute doofus. No, it's okay. I was prepared for this. I'm a warrior's daughter. I've been taught not to panic in times like these. Dane, strong girl, Lelina. So everyone should have told me. They're too considerate. I'm strong too, you know. Lelina, you don't have to hold back in front of me. Roy, I... It's okay. I'll be with you. Aww. That's, that's significantly sweeter than, uh... That's significantly sweeter than, uh, <laughs> their C support. Oh! Side quest time, I guess. You know what? We'll do the side quest tonight. Well, I'll see what the side quest's, the map's size is. 
Roy View vowed to protect Lelina forever. However, with Burn coming full force at them, Roy's army wouldn't stand a chance. Therefore, they decided to try and take the Divine Weapons before Burn got their hands on them. Lelina showed them to a cave on the outskirts of Ostia, where the first Divine Weapon was hidden. The cave, located at the foot of a volcano, was going to be a major ordeal for Roy. Oh, are we going back to Valorous Roland? Yes, that's exactly what we're doing. Uh, how big is this? Uh, guys, vote. Should we do this chapter this stream, or should we do it next stream? It's another long, windy hallway, but... We can ferry people across it with Thaney. So this is actually a level Thaney's going to be really good on. Um... Hmm. A lot of steel weapons. And a halberd! Wait, where's the halberd guy? Okay, watch out for him. I feel like playing still. I still feel like playing. Killing Edge! They just every once in a while, they'll throw in and just person with ridiculously good... Ah. Alright, and what's the boss like? Henning! Oh, he's a hero! The leader of the group of bandits that roam around Ostia. Oh! Oh, yuck! That guy's gonna be a nightmare to deal with! No, you know what? I still feel like playing. We're gonna keep playing. Alright. We can't bring a whole lot of characters with us. Alright, we don't need Chad. There's no treasure here. I don't think we need Ellen and Clarine. I kind of want to take Lelina. No Wendy, no Barf, no Astor, no OJ. Should I take Zealot, Trek, or Noah? Not Noah. Maybe Trek? Trek, I think, is just going to get his butt kicked here, though. I don't think... Mm. I need another... I think I'm gonna bring Trek. We'll try our hand with Trek. Alright. We need another Lance. Oh, shoot. Our Lance disappeared when we, uh, when... No, we didn't. We can take Noah's. He won't mind. Okay, we don't need the halberd. That's fine. We do want a hand axe, though. Maybe a killer axe as well, actually. Yeah, we'll get a killer axe, but we'll have it on... Th <sighs> if Thaney dies, though. Oh, also. So, Lelina is absolutely going to get that secret book. Or, not the secret book, the angelic robe. We're also going to give her a uh, Lose Fire Tome. Alright, Rootger. On the off chance that you happen to die, let's give back that Hero Crest. I still don't know if I want to pr use the Hero Crest on Deke or on uh, Rootger. They're both good choices. Okay, Ellen. Ooh, actually, we want a barrier staff, I think. Here, we can't use the physic. So let's get barrier on Ellen. Alright, Trek. You're gonna need a sword. Alright, who needs the secret book most? 8 skill, 12 skill. Ward or a lot, probably. Or Lelina. Well, I'll get I'll let Lelina get some more level ups before I decide that. Oh, also, uh, Wendy. Oh wait, there's there's just a shop with us permanently? Oh, I didn't know that. Probably should have known that, but... Alright, Astol. There we 
go. Honestly, Knight's Crest on... No. Lance Lance still has some more good level ups in him before I'm using that Knight's Crest on him. Alright, I think that should be good. Alright, yeah, we'll try this. We'll try this chapter, because I still feel like playing. Chapter 8X, The Blazing Sword. Hey, that's the name of Fire Emblem 7. Boss! An army's invading our cave! What? How many of them are there? Dunno, boss! I hope there aren't too many of them! That's strange. The Lycia Marquises should be having bigger problems than dealing with bandits like us. Well, what do we do? They probably don't know much about this cave anyway. Just lure them into stepping on the floor tiles with the hot lava spurts up and get rid of them. Roy, over here! The Divine Weapon is located on the other side of this lava pit. Lelina, are you alright? Have you calmed down? Well, maybe I'm not fully alright, but now isn't the time to be sad. I need to protect Ostia, j just like my father before me. Alright. Good for you, Lelina. I'm okay, but because you're with me, Roy. What? Did you just say something? No, nothing. Anyway, I'll tell you what I know about this Divine Weapon. The one here is the sword that was used by Roland, one of the eight heroes, and Roy's dad. That Roland. Is that King Roland, the first King of Ostia? Right, he's our ancestor. The sword is called the Blazing Sword, or the Durandel. The Durandel. The name has a strange echo to it. So Roland used the Durandel to fight the dragons during the scouring. That's how the legend goes. They also say that after the war ended, Roland returned to his hometown of Ostia. He raised the Durandel high above his head, and the land that had become barren after the war suddenly became lush with vegetation and life again. Wow, that must be some sword. Well, it's a weapon that can defeat dragons. It must have some special powers in it. Yes. Oh yeah, I heard that a group of bandits has made its base here. Is it going to be alright? How do the bandits know about this, like, legendary area that was super duper secret in Fire Emblem 7? Is what going to be alright? I mean, there's always the chance that they might have taken the Durandel. No, don't worry. Only those who are Roland's successors know how to remove the Durandel from its sheath. Oh, okay. Then everything's fine. All we have to do is get rid of the bandits and obtain the Durandel. Oh, we're getting the Durandel early this time. Okay. Alright, well, I just gotta be on the lookout for who has the powerful weapons. Okay, you have the halberd. I'll keep the cavaliers away from you. As for the people up here... Oof. A lot of nasty weapons. Also, this music is good. Oh, this is like a remix of the side quest music from Fire Emblem 7 but much creepier. I love it. Okay. Avoid these tiles here. Trek and Lance. You're gonna lure the enemies out here this way. Deke, you and Rutger can go up. Start luring out the enemies that are coming this way. Alright, Thaney is going to be very useful in this course, because we can use her to ferry people across these lava gaps. Which will be very nice. Yeah, this is this is remix of the player phase and enemy phase uh, side quest songs back in Blazing Sword. Alright, I like how tanky Trek is. He only takes one damage from the mercenary. Alright, Trek's first level up. Let's see what he gets. <laughs> all right, Trek! <laughs> Dane! All right, that's a good first impression. Trek is taking less damage from these guys than Lance is. Although, wait, I think Trek was going up against a guy with an iron sword, not a steel sword, so that's probably it. But Trek is kind of reminding me of Lowen a little bit, and that's that's a compliment. Lowen's good. I love, how, I love how the boss is like, oh, just let them land on the lava tiles, and then his guys are the ones stepping on the lava tiles. Oh, but not all of them. Okay. You fool, you're not hitting Rootger. Oh, shoot. I didn't bring... Did I? No, I did not bring Chlorine, which means Rootger don't get that support bonus. Well, that's fine. Oh, way to show up, dick. 
Boo -doo -doo, boo -doo -doo. Why is Deke just not getting much experience? Well, he's level 11, but so is Ruker, and Ruker was getting more EXP than that. All right, Lelina, finish him! My gosh, Lelina just dishes out so much damage. She doesn't double, but if she ever gets to the point where she starts doubling, like, she will one-round anything, which is nuts. All right, you're the guy with the halberd. I'm really not looking forward to fighting you. This music is so good. I love it. Heal up Trek. Oh shoot, Thaney no longer has a javelin. I probably should have bought more javelins from the store. Oh well. Oh no, not Deke. Oh, you fool. Lelina's invincible to magic attacks. Alright. You're Mr. Halberd. You have a steel sword. So how does Roy fare against this guy? Oh, okay. Roy is tougher than I give him credit for. Iron Axe and Hand Axe. Alright. We'll have Lilina finish off Mr. Bandit. Alright, the enemies here, apart from the one or two guys that have the really good weapons, the rest... Wow! Okay, Lilina's just... Does she have like a 100% magic growth or something? She's level 6 with 10 magic. It's nuts. Oh yeah, I need to use that Angelic Robe on her. Whoops. Should have done that turn one. Gonna toss the javelin at him. Cool, Roy can finish the job. And I need to get Lance out of there because Mr. Halberd is going to be within his range. But this is why Thaney is good. I'm using the rapier for the higher accuracy. Because I really didn't want to miss. Kind of wish that they were within support range of each other. So, Roy's gonna have to avoid free attacks, but that's okay. 21 attack. Oh! Actually, wait. Roy's in danger. Crap. Well, you know, if we die, then we have to restart. <laughs> and it's not a huge deal. Alright, that's a lot of enemies. Trek, you have a javelin. Okay, I'm I'm digging Trek. He seems actually pretty solid. He's also a low level, so he's this good at level 5? Yeah, alright. I can get behind Trek. Alright, well, I hope Roy doesn't die. That would suck if he did. Okay, no, Roy's fine. Weapon Triangle gives him great avoid. My gosh. Okay, yeah, I like Trek. Trek is great. Okay, I don't give Roy enough credit. 
I've, I'm treating him like he's made of paper, but he's actually made of fairly sturdy stuff. And he's got a great dodge rate. So... We, sh we should be good. Oh, hey! We can break our sword on this guy. Ugh. Oh, wait. Ruker's not getting much EXP either. I should have given that to Trek. Oops. What's Trek's luck like? Oh, he's got six luck. Okay, so we're going to be facing a 1% critical rate against him, which is yuck. I don't like that. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to give him a little bit of a barrier. All right. All right. Melina can finish off this guy. Oh, oh, critical hit. Should have finished off one of the other guys. All right, cool. Halberd guy is dead. Lance can now swoop in, help save the day. If necessary. But actually, Roy seems to have the job under control. Roy and Lelina power couple. I like it. Alright, Lance can finish the job. Lance lost his best friend last chapter. Oh ho ho! But he's making up for it in spades! Alright, no more enemies down there. Cool. So we could... use Thaney to start doing some rescue drops, which might be for the best. I just am afraid of rescue dropping and having the 1% of rescue drop get overwhelmed. If I know... Fire Emblem 6, as soon as I attack this guy, everybody else is going to be beating me up. Trek is tanky when it comes to physical attacks, but I think one of those guys up there has something nasty. In terms of equipment. Actually, no. Okay, he'll only take four damage from that. He's got eight defense, so... Yeah, even if though he's on the lava tile, we're gonna do the... Oh my gosh, Trek, what the heck? Good job, man. And with the sword equipped, he'll avoid the axe, and those guys won't have a great hit rate on him. Hopefully. Keep building that Roy Lamina support. Alright, if I was to send one person over there, I think Rootger might be a. Ugh! I don't like that. Also, those are definitely not planes. We'll put Rutger on the other side, and worst case, we can emergency rescue him back. Oh no! Two damage. I knew those guys would move as soon as I got within range of that mage. Oh man, I yeah. I don't want to say I'm glad Alan died, so I started using Trek, but... Oh, well now the fire spout attack. Wow. It never attacked any of the enemies. Alright, let's keep him out of range of the Elfire guy. But in range of at least one of... Let's put him in range of one of those Axe Fighters. 
He doesn't have any vulnerabilities, but that should be okay. Good job, Deke. Build their supports together. We do it together. Uh, not enough. Okay, I didn't think so. Had to try, though. You... Do you have the Killing Edge? No, you don't. Okay, good. Even with all that damage, Trek should still be fine. All right. Second level up for Trek. Wow, Trek! Man, he's getting good level ups. I love this. Oh, he's he's going off to heal. Makes sense. Somebody wants to be handicapped! Really, Deke? Well, you know, that's easy fodder for somebody else to get the kill. Except Melina's not anywhere near there. Alright, you have the killing edge, so I want to stay out of your range, and I want to stay out of your range. Well... I'll move Ruger 2 up so that he can deal with the Steel Axe guy. You have a steel bow, you have the... Okay. Truck needs to deal with these guys. Man, what a boss. What a boss. And he's... Again, he's so much of a lower level compared to Lance. And he's not, like, as good, but he's... He's close. Okay, we gotta get rid of Mr. Steel Sword. Iron Sword Guy with Vulneraries is not nearly as big of a problem. If I was a little more optimal, I could ferry guides across with much greater efficiency, but... Alas! Oh, darn it, he could have support Roy. Perfect one-round Rutger. Ho oh, ho! Gets the crit even though he could didn't need it. Nice one. Why does it have to show us the burning fire? Even if there's nobody on it. I don't understand. You're gonna have the killing edge. I don't like where you are positioned. At all. Let's let's retreat. So, like, here's something... Okay. Darn it, Lelina, you're, you're a twig. Okay. Can Roy rescue... Okay, cool. Okay. 
Roy rescues Thaney. Ward's gonna take Thaney and release her on this cliff. Which means every turn we can have her rescue somebody and then somebody on this guy can take him ferrying across. So we can get one person across every single turn. This is a good plan. And we can just skip the top part of the course entirely. Alright, let's support Roy with Lance. Master Roy, are you alright? Lance? What's the matter? I couldn't see you, so we've been right next to each other. Oh, is that all? No, that is not all, Master Roy. You are this army's leader. You must watch for your safety more. Yeah, you're right. I'll be more careful. Are you sure? I promise. Man, so many of these supports are just really boring. I'm sorry, but they are. Feels like the magic guys just aren't moving at all. Alright, let's mend up Trek. I'd like to get Trek and Lance to the other side as fast as possible. I wonder if we could do something... Yeah, I think we need our calves pick off that stupid Killing Edge guy from a distance. Armor Slayer we don't care about because we don't have armor units. Oh yeah, that guy's still up there with his Iron Sword. What a maroon. Oh, we can support... Oh, Thaney at last! Okay. Let's give this to Thaney and then get the Deeks to Thaney support. Hey, Captain! Thaney, please. Not Captain. Why? Back in Ilya, we always call our leader the Captain. It doesn't suit me. Alright, um... Okay, then I'll call you Bro, like Lot and Ward do. No. Shoot, can't use that, I Ivor? Just call me Deek, like you always have. No! I feel left out when they call you Bro and I just call you Deek. Don't be ridiculous. Come on, let's go. Hey, wait! Deek! Oh, man. What do you mean I can't... I can't take Deke? That doesn't seem right. Oh, well. <laughs> I could have... Part of me wants to have Roy and Lelina take out this guy up here. But I don't want to attract too much... Nah, they can go. I'm sure nothing bad will happen. Plus, they can stay together, like always. Just like that. Can Lance... What? How does Lance fare against this? <laughs> well, he... Lance actually survives a critical hit from him. But no, we need Trek to use his javelin. To pick him off from a distance. In the meantime, though, I think it's about time Rutger dealt with this Elfire guy. There we go. Kablunk! Ouch! Okay, so Ruger's gonna be... Ruger's gonna take 10 damage from the Fire Spout on our next turn, I think. Ruger, would it kill you to level strength? Like, would it? 
<laughs> Hi, Proxima! Uh, no, this is not the end of the game, actually. This is a side quest chapter that's not necessary, but we're doing it anyways. Uh, yeah, we're inside a volcano trying to get a legendary sword in order to help us uh, fight Burn. Uh, yeah, it's been a bit of a bloodbath this episode. Just, just a little bit. Alright, nearly everybody's across now. Yeesh. Alright. Okay, if if he had hit Ruger with that, I could have died. I didn't think he would, though. Ruger's pretty dodgy. Oh no, you're attacking Roy? How dare you? Oh, Roy doesn't... Oh yeah, of course Roy wouldn't double mercenaries. They're very fast. Do, 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 do. Oh yeah, Ruker didn't take damage. Wonderful. All right, Lelina, kill him. <laughs> oh my gosh, Lelina is so powerful. I love it. Level up. She has leveled magic every single level up. This is great. She hasn't leveled speed even once, but doggone it, I keep forgetting to use the angelic robe. I'm a bit of a dumb, stupid head. Okay. Let's just lure him out with Roy. Alright. I don't like how low of a chance that is of hitting. Don't like it one bit, Sam I am. How does Trek fare against him? Oh, actually, Trek really survives. Okay, I have a plan. I have a plan. That guy is going to be super obnoxious to deal with, but I have a plan. Right, you have 16 attack. Rutger has 6 defense. It's a little bit on the low side. We'll pull back for a bit. Uh, make sure we're not in... <laughs> that, that, was, that was close. <laughs> I am very, very, very on edge around killer weapons, because I had Sue die in one hit from one in the last chapter. Don't want that to happen again. I suppose we also could have fairy dropped across this way. That's also a possibility we could have done. Alright. Rutger, you can move in the middle of there. Thaney's gonna move there. Okay. Lance is gonna move there. Gonna preemptively barrier up Trek. In case he has to entangle with the uh, mage over there. Gonna move him over about one square. Gonna be very, very precise with this. Alright. Meanwhile, on this side of Fane's Roy, you can one round this guy. Nice job. All right. Trek, make us proud. Okay, thank goodness. No critical hit. Wonderful. Alright, that's, that's a big weight off of my chest. Alright, good, alright. That's, that's the danger over with. Killing Edge Man is dead. Which is exactly what we want. We'll lure out this axe guy. Yep. 
can start moving in with our other units. Keep Thaney out of range of the archer. Heal up Rutger. And then Deke can keep getting within Thaney and Rutger's support range. You think you can kill Lance? Many have tried, none have succeeded yet. They've come close, but not yet. I'm kinda surprised they're going for Lance and not Trek. Oh man, nice job, Roy. Nice job, Roy. Alright, level up time. Probably one or two things, right? Oh, no, that's a solid level up. You got strength. I Alright. Roy's doing me proud. He does remind me of Elwood a little bit, where it's like it seems like he gets strength or speed, but not both. Which might hurt his viability a little bit. Wow, those mages are just not moving. There you go, free kill for Trek. Wonderful. Oh man, the Cavs are good in this game. Alright, Thaney. Wow, even with an Iron Lance, you can't one round. Can't say I'm really surprised, though. Uh, not even a critical hit, eh? Well, you still ferried people across, so you still were useful. A little bit. I'm still worried about the boss, though, because the boss looks absolutely terrifying. Wait. Oh, okay. Steel sword. We're fine. Sword guy's not moving, eh? How much damage can Lelina deal? 14. Alright. There you go. Alright, is there anybody still waiting for me at the end other than the boss? Yes. We got Steel Axe, Air Caliber, and Steel Axe. Okay. Watch out for that Air Caliber. I love how creepy and mysterious this music is. It's wonderful. Gotta keep Thaney far out of range of that Air Caliber guy. Hey, that's more damage than I was expecting. Actually, Roy might be in danger if he and Lelina don't both hit their next. Actually, no, he has vulnerabilities. Alright, there we go. You're on fire. We'll just use the rape. Oh, sweet, never mind. We're not in danger. I forgot Lelina ups Roy's accuracy and power, and crit rate a bit. Actually, I think she just ups everything. <laughs> Let's heal up Trek. I want Trek to get some more KOs. herp a derp skirp That's a lot of damage, actually. I guess maybe we could have... Ellen has a lot of... Yeah, she has 14 red. Ah, pfft, Ellen's fine. No worries there. All 
I'm only worried about the boss. Okay, that guy doesn't even move. What a goofus. There we go. There we go. This will help Lance survive. Just make sure he's topped off on his HP. He, there's no way he's getting hit by both of those fighters. My gosh, Lance! You're getting such good level ups, I love it! One of the only characters that is. Well, Lance and Trek are Lance, Trek, and Roy are getting pretty good level ups. Everyone else is a bit, uh, shaky. Oh my god, Trek with the second 2% critical hit. I love it. <laughs> well done, Trek. The thing that worries me most about the boss, though, other than uh, his absurd throne bonuses, is his uh, incredibly high speed. He has like 16 speed or something, so I don't think any of my characters can double him. That also means, yeah, with his high speed and his throne bonuses, like, we can't even really hit him. Hate that 4% critical hit rate on him. Hate that a lot. And that has 0 and 8 critical hit. That's all from Henning's own skill. Great. Okay, I think it's... Hmm. Yuck. Lance... Lance can actually do decent damage. Well, not decent damage, but he's... Lance seems like he's the only one who actually will not get critted. I think we're gonna do... As Lance, we're gonna have him pull out his hand axe, and that'll make him a good deal less scary. We're also gonna keep building up that Deke and Rutger support, because I really need that support done fast. What are you guys doing in a place like this? Oh well, but since you're already here, I can't let you guys go, can I? Okay, Hand Axe is a lot less scary. He's still scary, though. He has the Steel Blade, and he's making it look intimidating. What is he? Alright, now how does Rutger fare? I still don't like that 4% critical hit rate. How about Deke? Deke fares a good deal better. He doesn't get doubled. Yeah! Yeah, let's go for it. At the very least, <laughs> we can just keep attacking him over and over again, at least. Alright, we can whittle him down slowly but surely. Really, we can't... Nobody can take that. Okay. Fantastic. Heal up Trek. Nicely leveled up, Ellen. All 
Alright, now he's gonna pull out the Steel Blade again, though. Which means goodbye Weapon Triangle Advantage. Ouch! Oh, wait! But we double him when he has the Steel Blade. Because the Steel Blade weighs him down a ton. Oh, that's great. Who can use... Who can use the, uh, Killing Edge besides Ruger? Not... Ah, uh, Lance can't quite use that. Here. Deke, take the Killing Edge. You've earned it. Heal up Lance, rescue Ellen away. Then we can continue the onslaught. Every boss is on a throne in this, and it's annoying. <laughs> How have we not even gotten the C support between Rutger and Deke, though? Seems a little ridiculous. Heal up Roy. We didn't even need the men's staff for that. Well, that's just wonderful. There we go. We literally could just let him keep healing back his HP and let Lance just do his thing. You don't stand a chance against the King of Thieves. Yuck! That 1% crit, though. Alright, well, we'll do that. I wonder if he he's gonna attack probably a lot, I would assume. Yep. Oh, Lot has the hammer equipped. That was not a smart idea, but it doesn't matter. Lot would have survived even if he'd gotten hit. Why does Lot have the hammer equipped? That's a dumb idea. Alright. Let's try this. Ho oh, ho! Bye, Henning! Goodbye. Crap. I knew this would happen. Then why did you go exploring a volcano in the first place? Nice job, Deke. Not a nice job, Deke. Expected a little something more. Alright, Ellen. Top off everyone's HP. We can keep building those support points. And then in the meantime... I wonder if Trek can support anybody. At least out of the people here. We don't need to see this every turn. <laughs> we really don't. <laughs> did you know that these tiles burn sometimes when you step on Yes, I did, as a matter of fact. <laughs> I feel like this side quest could have been implemented a little bit better. 
Man, support grinding on this hole is gonna suck. Because we have to watch this every single turn. Build up the points a little bit more, but not by much. Alright, nah, forget it. We'll just conquer the throne. Roy! Here it is! So this is the Durandel. It's a very large sword. I don't think many of us are going to be able to swing it. But history has it that Roland was a small man. I think it's the person's skill in the sword that determines whether or not he can use it. Then if I become better with my sword, I can use it as well? Well, maybe. Maybe? Come on, at least say probably. Heh <laughs> heh. Oh boy, we get Durandel! If I roll him 7, that was a terrible weapon, but maybe it's better in this. Master Roy, Burns Dragon Knights have appeared at Castle Ostia! Yeah, this is kind of weird! It's like, oh my gosh, we took we like, took back control over Castle Ostia. By the way, Roy, we really need to go to this volcano cave to get this secret sword. It's like, really? Like, Burn is uh, attacking Ostia and Elysian it. No, 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 we gotta go to this volcano cave. It's like, okay! <laughs> Just seems like a very sudden detour. What? They're here already? What do you mean already? We took a massive detour in a volcano? Yeah, like, now we are now we go right back outside. Th this scene should have happened before we went to the volcano. Hehehe, <laughs> are you Roy? I must thank you for getting rid of that idiot legions for me. Now you will leave Ostia to me. Don't be ridiculous. Who would give Ostia to the likes of you? Oh? Then do you wish to fight us with that sad little group of yours? I shall annihilate you as I did with Hector! That's enough. Ooh, green units, we are saved. General Narsha, no legion has arrived from Etruria! I can see that, you fool! Why? I am Percival, Knight General of Etruria. Yesterday, Sorcery General Cecilia informed me that Ostia had requested Etruria's protection. What?! You seem discontent. We are prepared for battle. But can those Dragon Knights of yours stand a chance against all of us? You! I am Cecilia, Sorcery General of Etruria. Ostia is now under our protection. Well, if she's anything like the last General of Sorcery, Pent, uh, you don't stand a chance. Ah! You! You! General Darshan, please control your temper! General Percival is one of the strongest warriors in Etruria! And with General Cecilia here as well, we'll be slaughtered! I know! We're leaving. Cecilia, is it? Watch your back from now on. Oh, yay. Green units saved us. Are you General Roy of the VC Alliance Army? Y yes. I am in charge of the Alliance Army in the place of Lord Hector. I see. VC is in a time of hardship. Arkeen also sends his words of regret for Lord Hector's death. And I'm more sad about Alan and Sue's deaths. Thank you for your consideration. If Etruria hadn't helped us, Ostia would be under Burns control now. Thank you very much. I am not the one to thank. I simply followed my king's orders. You should thank Cecilia, who went against the king to help you. She disobeyed the king's orders? Yes, now isn't that something? Well, I must be off. Two of the three Etrurian generals shouldn't be leaving the country for so long. Cecilia, can you take care of the rest? Yes, thank you, Percival. You can leave the rest to me. Phew. General Percival. Now he's someone. Nervous, were you? General Cecilia, it's good to see you again. How are you doing, Roy? You look a little tired, but you seem okay. Yes, thanks to Etruria, we were able to avoid disaster. I'm glad we made it here in time. Oh no, we had plenty of time to explore a random volcano. I'm sorry. I put you through a lot of trouble. No. It's going to be beneficial for Etruria for, uh, for Etruria for Ostia to go under our protection. Beneficial? Yes. Burn's been acting aggressively these days, as you know. We also want to do something about it, but since we haven't been directly invaded, we have no reason to go to war with them. But if Burn gets any stronger, the balance of powers would be shattered. So when Ostia requested protection, you saw it as a good reason to declare a war on Burn. Right. We just did what would be best for us. You don't need to feel that you're in our debt. Yes. So you shouldn't thank us. Understood. I won't. Well, anyway, please come in and meet the rest of our army. We're a ragtag group of scrappy people, but it's fine. 
He's gotten so bold in the short time I haven't seen him. Well, he is a boy after all. Meanwhile, all the green units decide to go to the arena. All right, well, that's it for this stream. Went on for longer than expected by a good amount, but I had to do that side quest, you know? It just wouldn't seem right. So we're still doing two chapters a stream, but if the chapters get much bigger, then we might only have to do one chapter per stream, so that's just how it is. So tune in next time, Monday, we will be going to the Misty Isles. So... Looks like we're going for a change of scenery, and we're probably getting Fog of War, which, uh, that's gonna suck. But anyhow, thank you all for joining in, hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your night, and God bless.